welcome to my very first 2020 summer barn tour. I have been collecting Schleich horses for about three years now. So here is my very first summer barn tour for you guys. So we're gonna start off here at the Schleich house, which I use as kind of a reception area because it's a camp where you come and ride horses. So this is where our little reception area is. So there's a small table with some maps on it and I am planning on building um, a bookshelf and stuff like that eventually. So moving on over here, we have a couch and one of the other tables and a little coffee table, which if you want, you can play like some board games if you're into that. And going upstairs, we have a small little kitchenette. If maybe the workers get thirsty or something or want to bake a pie, I guess, they can come do that. Also here is a lovely little bathroom. And one of my little things is I just couldn't take it that there was no door. So I just had to build them a curtain. So I did that for them. And also there's a bed here for if you were spending the night or if you want to rent out the fancy cabin upstairs, I guess you can. So coming back over here is another ladder. Then you can come up through here and there are a few more beds for you to take a nap or spend the night. So we're gonna continue our barn tour on outside. So coming outside, right over here, we have some little stalls for our horses and they are made out of cardboard. They're probably one of the first ones that I ever made. We do have a bunch of tack. We have some ear nets, some halters, some feed bins, some blankets, a whole bunch of old tack, a kitty bed, a fly mask, another halter. And right here we have Champion, our Palomino quarter horse. And his owner, Casey, is right there, just checking on him. And I also built this as well. Right over here, we have one of our paddocks, with our mares. So there's our Frisian mare, River, and her um, foster foal, Texas. And he's a Tennessee walker. And right there, we have Cookie, our Napster mare, and her two twins, Chocolate Chip and Cody. So moving on over here, we have Brittany and her horse, Andy, our Andalusian Stallion. And right here we have Steve at our cafe area. We also have Jill and Dan at the cafe. And working here at the cafe right now is Jake. And it looks like he's getting someone a chocolate or a coffee, something like that. And we also have the fridge moved here, like I mentioned, and then lots more of the plates and stuff. So I did leave this open so we could see inside of it. So there's some pots and drinks and stuff in there. And on the stove, it looks like we have some bacon and eggs. And so continuing out here, we have one of my English bareback sets on this pretty saddle stand. Right there, we have our goose named Lucy. And right here we have our King Charles, and her name is Sandy. And so moving on over here, we just have our empty paddock. And right here is one of my custom kitties. I made her after one of my real cat's buttons. And in real life, she does not have kittens. So in the bed, we have Ginger, the brown one. The black and white one is Eureka or Oreo. And the other black and white one, a little more smaller black spots, is named Patches. So moving on over here, we have our pony pen, and we have our two ponies. Our pony, our Shetland pony gelding, is Puzzle right there, and our pony stallion is Dust right there. And so continuing on over here, we have Minnie, our miniature Shetland pony, and her full caramel. And I did do his mane, I did paint his mane, so if you are wondering that, and also my Bella Bella named Precious. So continuing on over here, we have Lady, our Golden Retriever. And right over here, we have the beautiful 2020 Arabian Mare. And her name is Queenie. And right over here, we have our Arabian Stallion named Firefly. And right over here, we have our Daltmore ponies. So this is Lily and her owner Alice with her little baby Storm and they're going on a trail ride. Right over there is Bonnie sitting on one of our little horse signs. So moving on over 
here is where I keep my feed, my jump, and all my tack stuff, and also my truck and trailer. So right here is Pebbles, and she is also a custom cat I did after one of my real ones. Sadly, she does not exist anymore in the real world, but I always have a slick one of her. So also right here is another one of my kitties. I did not paint this one. This is Tiger. And he's just one of our other cute, adorable little kitties on the farm. And right here I have my truck and my trailer. And up here we have a bunch of storage for some other stuff we have. And moving on over to this pen, we have Chance in the back, who is our beautiful Hannah Varian gelding now. And right here we have Red, another one of our beautiful quarter horses. And they're just having fun in their little pen right here. And Red's owner, Avery, is right there. And she has this Dread Mole John Deere tractor we have. We also have a bunch of tack for Chance and Red back there. And it looks like Majesty, our beautiful Lippin's Iron Mare, is poking out right there. So we're going to continue this and I'm going to go around and see oh, right there. And I have made it around. So there is beautiful Majesty. And I don't know if you can see her, but we have beautiful Eureka back here. Who is her adorable little Lippin's on her filly. And she's a beautiful black color. So we'll put Eureka back. And right over here we have our other Arabian mare named Misty. If you can see her, she's also very pretty. I got her with the Schleich Barn as well as her full dash and this is also flyer flies full so that is his dad continuing over here to another pen i made this is maya our curly mare and i did paint her black and also our adorable little full named snowflake who i also did paint as well continuing in the barn here i do have lights so i'm going to turn them up for you guys and continue right, continuing here in the barn right here we have raven our Frisian stallion and he is a very pretty boy indeed and over here we have comet and he is a custom he originally came with the wash doll set so now he is a beautiful leopard appaloosa and his owner janet there is just giving him some grain and those boys have some fluffy hay nets Right there is just an empty stall. Right here we have Felicia and she is one of the Lippins on her ones. Now I did customize her and the reason is that she did not have ears or a forelock or the front of her hoof because she was chewed up by a dog. So I did customize her because one, I didn't know what Lippins on hers looked like at the time. So now she's a mixed breed, a Lippins on her quarter horse and her coat color is a Flax and chestnut paint. So there's a mouthful for you. And right here in this stall, we have Cocoa Butter, our beautiful Shetland pony. I'm so sorry about that. So here's beautiful Cocoa Butter. And here on our other side of the barn, which is a little more fancy, which is the actual Schleich barn, that barn I built myself. So right here we have one of our race horses, and this is Fearless, and his race storm is Stormtrooper and he's our quarter horse. And right here we have our Mustang. He's also another one of our race horses. And his name is Ricochet, and his race horse name is really hilarious, and I love it so much. It's, he's gonna win. So next, we're gonna go ahead and go in this pasture and look at all the beautiful mares in here. So right here, we have another one of our quarter horses. So this is Buttercup and her full Sephir. So here is beautiful Sephir. His mommy. I'm going around for you guys. Her beautiful braid. I love her so much. So we're going to continue on in the paddock. And right here in the paddock, we have a small group of our mares and bulls. So right here, we have Daydream and her full April. I did customize her. She was originally all white, and I painted some beautiful brown chestnut spots on her so she looked like her mommy. Right here, we have marmalade and merlin and merlin's dad is andy and Brittany does own all of these guys all of our andalusians right here we have midnight our tinker mare and her full cloudy who's also a tinker filly and she's also a foster mom to this guy buck who is an artemis bull i believe 
So we're going to continue on over here. And in here we have Fairy Tail and her foster foal Blue, who is a Pinto foal. And she is an Andalusian Frisian, so she is a mixed breed. And right there we have our silly little goat. And his name is Billy or Billy Goat. So that's just a little hilarious name for you right there. And another one here, we have our rooster. And I am so sorry, I cannot think of his name right now, but I promise you, I will. And I finally remembered my rooster's name, and it is Colonel Sanders. So I know funny, some of you are going to probably find that really funny. So right here in this first stall, we have our Icelandic mare in full, and our mare is named Lacey. And her little colt is named Trouble. Right here, we have our zebra mare in full. Our zebra mare is named Layla with her little foal Zyla. Right here we also have our other Icelandics, Mocha, and her little colt Fudge. Right here we have our beautiful trail ride going on. Right here we have Clara on her horse treat with an English bareback pad. We also have Tan here riding her horse King with a Tinker Stallion. Right here we have Violet riding her horse Rocky, who is a Nasser stallion, and is the dad to the twins. Right here we have Anna riding her horse Prince, who was a who is a gelding now, and he is the dad to Sefer. Right here we have Olivia riding her horse Stella, who is a Hanoverian, and her little foal is coming on, and this is Harmony, and her dad is Chance. So that's the beautiful trail ride. Right here we have our beautiful round pen, the beautiful horse exerciser, and the reason why the exerciser is in here is because, well, I really don't have anywhere else to put it right now. And it's not designed to keep the horses in, it's designed to keep the people from getting to the horses and bothering them. Like I mentioned, this is a camp, so now we're gonna go to the arena. So here at the arena, there's not much going on. We just have a few trot pulls out and a single jump with a water jump in the back corner there with my beautiful backdrop. So now we're gonna go to the playground. And now we're at the playground. So I built this beautiful slide right here. We got some monkey bars, a teeter-totter that will actually go back and forth. We have a lovely bench with our kitty cat Smokey on it. And now we need the bench to probably gonna fall over. So this is Smokey, a beautiful kitty cat. We also have some lovely swings. And we also have a climbing wall, which one is easy, two is medium, and three is hard. And in here we have the cabins. I'm trying not to make it too long, but it's really hard to see in there, but we have some beds, painted, and you can also here at the camp, right on the walls. Only on these cabins can you do that. Out here we have some sidewalk and a little fireplace. And right here is a lovely little chapel area. And to finish this barn tour up, we're gonna go along the path and go back to the front of the barn. So back at the front of the barn here, we have beautiful Tesla and his beautiful black and orange tack. And this is a Western bareback pad. And we have lovely Tonya here who is tacking him up. So she does not own a horse, so she's tacking him up and taking him out for a ride. So we also have some more tack right here and along there. And also a sign that says everything that goes on for the day. Right over here, we have a one wash doll that I made and one wash doll I got from Schleich. So the hose shares through the wash dolls. We also have some lovely tack boxes out here for the horses when I painted. And this is one from Schleich. A lovely sign that says groom your horse here. We have Sunny, our golden retriever puppy. So this is Lady's puppy. And also a toy tire I popped off of one of my toys for a dog toy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe down below. And stay tuned for next week. Next week, we're gonna learn how to build this beautiful little feed bucket for your horses. So if you want to learn how to do that, hit that subscribe button. It only takes like two seconds. I know you can do it. Three, two, one.